보자. 네. 네. Just around. Yeah. Set. Set. Yeah. All right, have a good one. You talking to me? What's going on? Hey, huh? Hey, you can't be standing out here with your signs and whatnot. What do you mean? Can I be out here panhandling? Says who? Solicitation. Lancaster City Municipal Code. Uh, it's actually a misdemeanor. I've actually read the municipal code, and where I'm standing is not in violation of that code. Are you sure about that? Positive. Really? Yes. How do you figure? Because I read the code, and there's nothing in there against standing on a public sidewalk corner, which is why yeah, yeah. every other officer that comes by here every day just waves to me as they go by. Okay, well, I'm telling you to stop. And why is that? Okay, come on over here, bud. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm not gonna Please, you I'd like you to show me. Absolutely. Come on over. Yes. Do I don't, okay. but I am recording you. I'm sure you are. Let's get right here, You are also being recorded. So. Yeah. Used to that. It's all good, man. Hey, you're good. Thanks. Really? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Have a good night. What's up? I cannot be out here doing what? Handling. I'm not breaking your municipal code. I've read your code and it doesn't preclude so? me from standing on the on a public corner like that. You think so? I know so. Oh, do you have ID on you? I do. Can I see it? Sure. Who makes the decision where some days they, they wave to me as they go by and some days it's harassment? Who makes that call? Is that made on... Well, you think uh, that I'm harassing you by enforcing the law? Well, you're not enforcing law because I've read your municipal code and well, it's very it clear. Say? If you've read it, what does it say? Well, I don't have it memorized, but it's pretty clear that it's not breaking any part of the code by standing here on the public okay. sidewalk. Well, I'll have to read it myself. Again. Yes, I think so you I'm should. I'm not harassing you. I just get calls from, from businesses saying that there's people outside harassing their customers. You get calls just in general? Yes. So you, times. but you haven't gotten a call from me specifically tonight? Uh, I'm not saying whether I did or didn't. Take that as a no? I'm not saying whether I did or didn't. Well, if you did, you... You can take that as a no or you can take that as a yes or you can take that however you want. Of course, now they're holding up traffic. I'm not.
I got a question for you. There's a woman at Del Taco who gives really bad customer service. If I call and complain to you guys, will you go? Customer service is not. Okay. Well, she's not breaking the law, correct? Right. But I, I'm not breaking the law either. That's why it's the corollary. Corollary is that if I called and complained about bad customer service, you wouldn't bother her. But if somebody calls and complains about me standing on the sidewalk, not breaking any laws, you still bother me. There's a difference there. What is the difference? Because breaking the law inside of a business is a business and professions code, if anything, or it's a a uh, better business bureau issue. Mm -hmm. It's not a quality of life issue. Ah. Okay. Should I be waving these people off? They're going to be a while. Guys, go on. Are you Googling me? What? What's up? Excuse me? I can't stand out here and beg. Are you sure? Gone. Okay, time to go find somewhere else to hang out. Really? Yeah. Unless you want a citation for panhandling. Well, I, I discussed this with the supervisors down at, at the headquarters. This this location does not break your municipal code. The sign, I, everything's been... Oh, you're, in, you're within the city limits, right? Yes. All right, the city has a municipal code against panhandling. Yeah, I, I read it, but this, okay. but it's not... As long as I'm here on the sidewalk, it's not actually breaking your municipal code. How is that? Read your you're code. Inside the city limits. No, the city, it doesn't say within the city limits. The code very specifically delineates all, where I can't do it, all, and this is not... All municipal codes are within the city limits. I know, but it doesn't... It gives the specific places where you can't panhandle, and this is not one of them. It does not... It's, it says all the places you okay. cannot panhandle. Hey, dude, here's the thing. Yeah. I'm just telling you to move along, all right? Okay. So... And if I don't, you're going to come harass me some more? I'm not harassing you, all right? Okay, but I'm... just going to enforce the law, all right? But I... So when I come back after handling this call, okay. I don't expect to see you here. And if I am, what happens? Then we'll, uh, we'll take it further, all right? And what will that be? That'll be a possible citation, all right? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Do you want my ID? You want to give it to me? Sure. I don't want to give it to you. I wish you had just kept driving, but since we're going to be doing this, I figured you'd need it. Now, since you're videotaping, I'll just make it evident that you offered your ID to me. I never asked you.
Alright, I sent a message asking the uh, supervisor if they're available. Okay. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what the response is. I used to carry a copy of the initial code around with me to show it to people, but my backpack got stolen, so I don't have it on me. How'd your backpack get stolen? Ah, uh, it's a good question. Why you guys aren't able to, since we know who took it, why you guys weren't able to do anything about it, that's the real question. Well, probably <laughs> because we got this kind of thing that people don't like us doing our job and challenge us everything we do, so makes it very difficult to find the people that actually do do crimes and steal your backpack. You understand that I was just doing my job and you made me stop. Yeah, I was doing your job. No, I was doing, doing my job. What's I was your job? Standing there and trying to make enough who, money for groceries. Who employs you to do that? I'm self-employed. So you have a business license to do that? Uh, I don't need a business license to ask for money on a street corner. Seth, that's not a job. That's begging, okay? And quite honestly, it's a... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Inconveniencing other people. I'm inconveniencing work, other people? Yeah, that work hard for their money. You think this isn't hard work? No, I don't think it's hard work. It's you hard. don't think it's hard work to have to put up with you guys constantly doing this to me? Put up with people giving me dirty looks, Just throwing get, things at me, get yelling at me? Like else. Is that supposed to be your fucking? That's good. What? That's good. What? That's get, good. get a legitimate job employed by an employee? I've had five. Place. The no, FBI is because the FBI keeps firing me. The FBI keeps firing. Yeah, yeah. Considering How does my the FBI have anything to do with that's your, a damn good question, sir. Well, I don't work for the FBI, so take it out with the FBI. Yeah, I'd love to. But I do love the get a job lectures. Those are my favorite. As if this is an intentional thing. So if you don't want to do it, if it's so bad, how come you still do it? Why don't you go? Should I just not this? eat? I'll Should I what? just not eat? No, Seth, this is the thing. I used to have a job in Alaska um, canning fish. Uh -huh. Okay? I hated that job. Did Guess you? what I did? Huh. I went and got another job. Yeah? If you don't like this so much, get another job. If it's so hard, mm -hmm. go get another job. What's to stop you from going right here to Carl's Jr. asking for an application? I'm going to walk in like this with all my homeless stuff, ask for an application, and then just... Why not? Be employed there. They'll Why just not? hire me right off the street. They, they might give you an interview. Yeah. It's illegal for them to... Uh, Everyone's a comedian. I'm not trying to be a comedian. What's funny about it? <laughs> you say you don't like your job. You say it's hard work. If it's such a bad job, or if it's such a bad gig, do something else. I... I thought I explained to you that I've been fired for my last five jobs by the FBI and that they won't let me work. The last one they let me do for two weeks. And you've yet to tell me why the FBI has fired you for those, well, during those and jobs. And you've yet to tell me why they have, so I guess we're at an impasse. How would I know? I don't well, even know I'm pretty sure were. you do know, but that's just my... Thing. I don't even know what those jobs were, Seth. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to know? Because there's a one? thing called the, the Interdepartmental Task Force where you guys work with the FBI. So I don't think it's an a and okay. and they said and they put out an APB on Seth. Uh, what was your last name? Aronson said make sure Seth doesn't get a job. Is that what you're saying? Well, apparently it's make sure Seth is constantly harassed by you guys. Yeah, Seth. Again, let me point out. You called me over here. You waved me over here, uh -huh. and I'm harassing you. If I had stood there, and I'm it, sitting here in my car. You're standing at my window, uh -huh. and I'm harassing you. You told me to move on. If I had okay. stood there and ignored you, what would have happened? I would have come back and give you a ticket, probably. Okay, then that's why we do it this way. So I walked over and asked for a supervisor. Yeah, and I could have kept driving on. I didn't have to come over here. And I could have just kept standing there. <laughs> you could have. And waited till you came back to ask for the supervisor. You don't think I've been planning this since the last time you guys so harassed you, me? There, you, there it is. You've been planning this, huh? Planning to ask You've for a supervisor planning. the next time I was harassed, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Silly me thought I'd ask for a supervisor next time a cop comes over, doesn't know the law, and then tries to tell me to stop not breaking the law. Have you ever been cited for this before? I have. I'm have actually going to trial on next Wednesday. Well, okay. I have a pre-trial hearing next Wednesday when either the district attorney will continue or he'll chicken out, which he'll probably do, because he knows I'm going to call every officer who has stopped me, including you. And you can explain... Well, again, I didn't stop you. You stopped me. Well, irregardless, I now have... Irregardless is not a word. Want to bet? Okay. I guess you know the dictionary. I do. Too. One of us is a writer. Okay. And I don't think it's you. Well, and how do you know that? That irregardless is a word? No, Maybe... how do you know I'm not a writer? Because you don't think irregardless is a word. 
And what does that have to do with being a writer? Well, if you're a writer, you know that it was a word. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how can I help you? Is there an auto parts store? Uh, the, the only one. You, you want to know the great thing about the word irregardless? Hmm. It's a word irregardless of whether or not you believe it is. Hmm. Hey, are you sitting in a sentence there? Huh. How you, you know, you're complaining that you get harassed and essentially people are condescending towards you because they tell you to get a job and stuff like that. Mm. But that's exactly what you're trying to do with me is be condescending and harassment or ha harassing. You think I'm harassing you? Think you that's ironic. You think I'm harassing you? As a matter of fact, I, I think do. I do think it's ironic that you think I, I'm harassing you. Yeah, I do think you are. I could be doing something a whole lot more uh, beneficial Feel free. right now. Admit that, that the law that you've been it, taking 20 well, minutes to look up no, doesn't I, say that I'm breaking it. I haven't it. been looking it up, actually. Are oh, you just going to wait for the supervisor? Yeah. Okay, then we'll find because out. Because I don't need to look it up. I already know the law. You do? Uh, you're the one who doesn't know the law. Okay. You told me you read it a thousand times, so... Oh, I've read it every so time I've been harassed by you guys. I go back and read it to see if there's something in there I'm missing. Uh -huh. If there's some way that you could interpret those words to say that standing on a public sidewalk next to a commercial driveway is against the law, but it's not. And there's nothing you can do to make it against the law except for run for city council and write a new law. Okay. Now, there's certain cities that have laws that would prevent me from doing this, but yeah. your city is not one of them. This city and the city of Palmdale is one of them. Except that there's I've nothing... Cited, I've cited people for oh, I'm sure you have. several times. Oh, I'm sure you so have. So if it doesn't exist, how did I cite well, people Well, I'm sure you it? cite them for the code, but that doesn't mean they're breaking the code. Like, I'm not breaking the code. You can cite me for it all you want. What does the code say if you've read it so many times? Well, I don't have it memorized, and you have a computer right you should, there. You should have at least a general idea. Of what I have it says. exactly a general idea that I know exactly where I can panhandle and where I can't. Okay, because same with me. I don't know it word for word, but I know the criteria in it. I know the content. You of know the, the law. criteria in it. Yeah, and because it's very content. specific. It, it lists. It, it delineates certain areas of town where you're not allowed to panhandle, and it's very specific about those areas. And standing on a public sidewalk next to a. It, a, a driveway is not one of those areas. It's yeah, it's a, very specific. As, you're right. It is specific in the fact that it is a driveway. It says nothing about certain areas. It specifically oh, sorry, says right. a public, public right of way next to roadways soliciting vehicle or uh, motor vehicles for money. That's exactly. You sure? What it says. Is, you sure that's what it says? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that your supervisor? I believe so. Yay. Yep. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Terrific. So you know I'm recording. Yeah, fine. What's your name? That's your right, Sergeant Chang. Seven, Sergeant Chang. Chang? Yeah. Seth. How you doing, Seth? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Um, well, I've been, uh, I already have a case pending with the DA for uh, soliciting uh, where I'm going to prove that I was not breaking the municipal code, your municipal code is extremely uh, specific and uh -huh. it says where you can not, there's certain places where it says you cannot panhandle and I do not panhandle in those places. And I am absolutely positive there's nothing in that law that says I can't stand on that sidewalk there with a sign that says hungry. So I've asked this officer to bring a supervisor down here to somebody show me the law uh -huh. and specifically how standing right there is in violation of your municipal code. Okay. So if you could, I, I, I just would like to see it because I don't see, I've read the code so many times, I don't see how this is a violation of it. So let me get this straight. Well, that other court case, what does that have to do with this? Because it's another officer who came here in this very area and told me that I was breaking the law when I wasn't. Uh -huh. And part of your job is, of course, to enforce the law, but that doesn't mean to change the law at will. So if they're making up a law, if what I'm doing, if standing right there is not illegal, and I'm standing there and he's telling me I can't, then he's in violation of his duties. I'm not breaking the law. Okay, well, let me find out. Let me okay. look it up. Let okay. me talk to him. Sounds good. We're all human. Yeah. I could be wrong, he could be wrong. I, Maybe you're wrong. We'll see who's wrong. Let's, Let's figure it out. Sounds okay. like a plan. So you're, let me get this straight though, so I got, I got the facts. Okay. You're standing here on the corner. On the very corner of the sidewalk, right? The public sidewalk. I was standing right here. And the security guards here have already told me I can't cross there. I can't stand here. Okay. They said, the security guards told me to stand here. Uh -huh. And like I said, I've read the law and I know that that's, okay. there's nothing in the municipal code against me standing on a public sidewalk next to your driveway. Now, if I was jumping, if, if I was 
flagging people over, uh -huh. sure. But standing there with a sign that simply says hungry on it is not in violation of the law. Are you asking people for money or anything? I'm not, like I have that? A, a sign that says hungry. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Seth, thanks for waiting. Yeah, no problem. All right, so. I reviewed the, the municipal code, uh -huh. the city of Lancaster, and it basically says it's a little bit of a gray area, okay? If you're standing in a public place for the purpose of soliciting, asking, begging for money, things like that, mm -hmm. then it's against the muni code, which means against the law, you can be cited for that. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have a, a free speech right. You can walk anywhere you want, you can hold up whatever signs you want. You can say hungry, you can say not hungry, you can say tall, you can say whatever you want it to say. Mm -hmm. That's your, that's your God-given right, right? Okay. But in this particular place, on this corner, Valley Central Way, mm -hmm. with all the complaints that they've had from the business owners, mm -hmm. uh, customers that come here, you can see the no loitering signs posted all up along the wall over here. Mm -hmm. I would think that he could probably articulate that you're probably standing here for the purpose of soliciting. Can Typically, you show me the, the actual language of the... It's, it's, I told you it's a gray area, right? Okay. It's about articulation, right? Mm -hmm. So he's telling me that he's good. If you could just move on, you, you, you know, that would be great. It would help us out. We wouldn't get any calls for service. Okay. You know? But just to clear up a couple sure. of things. Um, nobody actually complained on, about me. He, he just saw me driving by. This, this wasn't, he wasn't responding to a complaint. He uh, was driving by and he saw me. As far as I know, correct. Okay. Today, okay. at this moment, nobody and, and was the complaining. Other, okay, and the other question, those loitering signs are for their, their property. For the property, right. So which I'm see, off, which I stand off of. Right, right, right. You can see how close that is to, yeah. to the property, right? So okay. I, I, I don't know how close you were to being on the property. You said you had talked to security earlier. Yeah. Security was like, hey. No, they, they just stay. wanted to make sure that they stayed where I was staying, which I already knew to stay. Right, right. So, Because he knows the area. Well, he's right hey. here. Let's ask him. Did didn't you just drive by and see me, or did somebody make a call? Oh, I drove by and saw you because okay. I know I have responded to many, many, many calls about people soliciting in this area. Here, the on ramp, right there in the median between on Valley Central between the bank and Carlos Jr. Yeah. I know for I know for a fact firsthand that people uh, hang out there and solicit, drink their beers, leave their bottles, leave their trash, pee on the wall of U.S. Bank. And it's a huge problem. So yes, when I drive through here, mm. I know it's a problem. So that's why I address it. Okay. Because it will be a call for service if I don't. Okay. I think I think the way he addressed you was probably time to leave, right? Yeah. He said time to go. Okay. Not not, not a big deal. Probably. I mean. Well, you know, for you, sure. He wasn't making you leave, right? You weren't being detained at the time. No. So I so I, so I don't have to leave, is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying at that time uh -huh. he didn't detain you. Uh huh. Right. He, made, he had a conversation with you. Yes. Probably time to go. Okay. Right? So then he says, you flagged him over. Hey, come over here. So he comes over here. He talks to you. Mm -hmm. And then you proceed to tell him about uh, another case that you have or the fact that you're standing on public property. You're just holding up a sign. Same thing you told me. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, it's not real clear. It's not black and white whether what you're doing is illegal or not illegal. Okay. It depends on uh, the totality of the circumstances. Okay. Okay. So, like I told you, what that muni code says. Do you, do you have a copy of the muni code? I don't have it. Someone stole it okay. from me. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe it'd be, it'd be a good idea to maybe print up a yeah, copy of it. Yeah, I should definitely keep it, it with, with me. you. Yeah. And look at that section. Uh -huh. If you're in a public place, uh -huh. which that would be right there, uh -huh. for the purpose of. And what would be the purpose of you holding up a sign? Okay. Again, can we? Can I see the whole the whole thing? Because I think you're quoting it out of context. Yeah, no, oh, sure. sure. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Motor B. Letter B. Number motor one. Motor vehicle or er, motor vehicles and parking lots. Motor vehicles. No person shall approach an operator or occupant of a motor vehicle for the purpose of soliciting, asking, or begging while such vehicle is located in any public place. Okay. Well, that. So now that I guess that's the gray area because I don't approach right. them. 
Okay. I don't approach them unless they call get, me over. How do you get the money? I don't approach them unless they call me over, it's and then they. Them. But that they have. That's not. Okay. Well, I guess. Right. It's it's semantics, mm -hmm. right? And it's not for us. We're not a jury. We don't say, hey, you're convicted, or hey, you're not convicted, yeah. right? But but I just to let you know that unless right. unless the DA drops charges, that both of you will be. I will subpoena you both for my trial, oh, just no, because no, I need to show no, that this no is problem. a constant hey, thing. Hey, hey, that, that's within your that's, right. And it's. There's no problem. I have All no right. personal problem with you. Thank you very much. And thank you for not throwing me on the hood of your car like the officers who gave me the ticket did. Okay. I do appreciate that. All right. You guys have a good day. So this is the narc that they have show up. And he stands right by the door and panhandles. It's really amazing. Here you go, narc. A little pizza for you. Thank you very much. So a sheriff shows up. Let's see what he does with the narc that's aggressively panhandling right by the door. Did he do anything? He nods to him. Oh, that's awesome. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Driscoll. Driscoll. Hey, I took the report for you. And I yeah, you did. Her. You got the email I sent you? Yeah, I did. Thank okay, you. Okay, cool. Everything good? Everything's great. Okay. I just wanted to document what happened here. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. I'm curious. Do the cops always smile and wave at you when you're sitting here? They know me. Yeah, they know you. Oh, they know me. Yeah. So they never they never harass you when you're do, doing hey, this? I'm a man. I help citizens out here. Okay. Yeah. There you go, darling. Thank you very much. God bless you. you. Thank you. Thank you. So you've never had the cops harass you while you've been sitting here? No. No, never. No. You how long you been here? I've been here a while. Cops have never given you problems for sitting right me, here. The manager let me sit here, they give me sodas and stuff out of there. And the cops have never harassed you once. I don't get it. They know me. Wow. What's I, your name? I, I'm Bill. They know me. Wow, I bet they do, because you're a cop. Know. Everybody know? Yeah, I'm you are. I'm a cop. Of course you are. Why else would they just let you sit here and aggressively panhandle right outside a door? The same reason why you come to ask me what I'm doing. Why you ask me what I'm doing? Because I'm going to go to jail for doing something that's not illegal while you're sitting here with cooperation from the cops for doing something that is illegal. That's why I'm asking. Why does it bother you? Why does it bother yeah. me? That you show up every time I'm sitting out here and you sit right here and... and intercept everyone that walks by? Why would that bother me? Really? You, 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 I, I don't know, man. Yeah, you sure don't.